YouTube. Before we start, you already know, smash the like button for more fire content. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Make sure to follow Team Al on all our platforms, IG, TikTok, and Twitter. Yes, we got a Twitter. I'll be posting more on there. But you already know, I'm always active, so if you have any questions, be sure to DM me. Now, let's get right into the video. Today's video, today's video is a special one. I'm gonna help you change your mindset to become a dog on the field. I know a lot of y'all been asking me questions of how can I make more plays? How can I believe in myself? How can I trust myself? This video is for y'all. Now, before we even get into it, you need to know your situation. You need to write your goals and first know your situation. Are you a starter, a returning starter? Are you fighting for a starter position? Are you in the bottom of the depth chart trying to get more playing time? You have to know all these things because now you have to believe that you're going to take that next step. You're going to do what it takes to take that next step. So now if you're fighting for position, you're going to have to work a lot harder and really prove to your coaches and your teammates that you should be starting. So you're going to have to do things on your own, right? You're going to have to put in extra work. Now, if you're a rotating guy or you're in the bottom of the depth chart, now this is where you have to really grind. First thing first, you gotta know why you're not getting more playing time. What are you doing wrong? Do you know the playbook, right? Are you big enough? Are you fast enough? You have to know all those things because this is what's gonna help you grind this off season so you can take that big step and prove to everybody that you should be the guy. First step, very important, you have to evaluate yourself. So when I say this, I want you to go back to your past season, right? Last season and just study yourself. Don't just look at your highlights, really study yourself. All the bad plays you had, all the good plays you had. When you're doing this, get a notepad, write it down. What you did right, what you did wrong, what could you have done better in that situation? If you're in a position to make a play, did you take the step to make the play or did you hesitate? So write all these things down. Take your time, you're not in no rush. Take your time, really break it down. That's gonna help you take that first step to change your mindset. Now, that leads us to the grind. You have to have a plan. You can't just go to the field and just go to the field and just do whatever. Break it down. You're gonna have days where you lift, you're gonna have days where you're gonna get some footwork in, and you're gonna have some conditioning days also. Let's say I'm going to the field, it's Monday, boom, okay. I watched all the film and I studied myself, evaluated myself, and I know what I need to work on. Today, I'm gonna work on my press, my press technique. Now, we're gonna break it down into our press technique, right? We're not gonna just work press the whole time, the whole day. We're gonna break it down. Okay, am I staying square press, right? No. Am I moving my feet? Am I moving laterally? Or am I opening the gate? So we're gonna focus on trying to stay in square. So we're gonna do drills to stay square and press and move laterally before we kick step and go. That's one set of the press. So the next set, we're gonna add a little bit more to it. So now we're gonna add kick step into it. So boom, kick step. So we're gonna work laterally, boom, kick step. Work laterally, boom, kick step. And we don't need to have a partner with this. We're just gonna work our footwork, work our technique, take your time, really be patient, work to get better. Don't rush anything. Even if you're going 60, 70%, that's fine. But really take your time and really try to understand and know how important this technique is and what it could do. Now, when we're lifting, we have to have a plan too. Everything you do has to have a plan. You can't just go out there, oh, I'm gonna just go bench today, oh, I'm gonna do some curls, oh, I'm I see this dude doing this, I'm gonna just do that. No, like you gonna have to have a plan. Follow your workout plan, legs day or upper body day. If you're doing leg day, be very technical. When you squat, get low enough. Squat to proper depth, you know what I'm saying? You're doing box jumps. Make sure you get all your reps. Don't skip any reps. Very important. All those things gonna add up at the end. You over there skipping reps, it's gonna show when it's time to play. Don't skip any reps. If you trying to fight for a starting position, the other dude is grinding. You over here skipping reps, the other dude's winning already. You gonna have to do a little bit more. Take advantage of every rep and make sure you go 110%. Don't forget your hand clean. It's very important. That's a very important lift right there. If you wanna be explosive, want to jump high, want faster. Hand cleans and your hamstrings, very important. Work your hamstrings, don't forget your hamstrings. A lot of people pull their hamstrings because they're not working it out enough. You're doing a lot of squats, 
doing a lot of quad heavy things, but forget the hamstring. And that can lead to low back problems too. So work your lower back too. Remember, you have to have a plan. So you have your footwork days, where you're getting your technique and everything done, and then you have your lift days. Make sure you're breaking it down, make sure you're going and following the plan. Now, I highly recommend you run track. If you wanna get faster, if you wanna work on better running mechanics, run track if you get the opportunity to. If it's the right situation for you, go out and do it. The reason why you're running track is to get faster, get work the technique, get proper running mechanics so you can get faster. A lot of times you guys are already a little bit fast, you just need a little tweak of your technique and running form and boom now you're running faster so run track if you can get out there compete push yourself very important don't just go to track and just go through the motion no push yourself if you want to get faster if you want to get better push yourself have that in your mind that you're getting better for football just put that in your mind you're getting better for football you put that in your mind you get better for football you're going to do what you need to do to get better compete 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 very important if you want to get better, you have to find people that are going to push you to take you to another level. Don't just keep going against the same people that you know you can beat. Go against better competition. Push yourself. Understand that you're trying to get better. If you lose the rep, it's okay. Come back, learn from it. Come back, learn from it. Come back, learn from it. Eventually, you're going to learn and you're going to have to do the little tweaks that you need to do and you're going to be better. The higher the competition, the better you will be. You will elevate eventually and then that next thing you know you're at the same level and you're going past it so compete find people that you're going to compete with sign people that have the same mindset that wants to get better don't just go against the same people can't stress this enough don't go against a dude that runs a 5-2 who thinks he's a receiver he's big body can barely run any routes no you're wasting your time find somebody who's going to give you some nice routes who's going to push you who's going to mix you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And then record those reps. Very important. Record them. Record your reps. Record your drills. Do all those things and get feedback from your coach, trainer, Team Island. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Ask them, hey, what can I do better? Did I do this right? What do you think? What do you see in this rep right here? You know what I'm saying? Now, everybody's working together. You have your team that's gonna help you elevate you to become a better ball player. Now, as you're doing all these things, you're building confidence. You slowly build on confidence in yourself because you're going against better competition, you're putting in the work, and you're watching film and you're studying yourself. So now, as you build confidence, you're gonna learn to trust yourself. You're gonna see something, you're just gonna react instead of hesitating and not being 100% sure if you should go. No, as a DB, you see, you gotta go, but you gotta believe it, right? You have to believe what you see. If you don't believe it, if you hesitate, receiver's gonna catch the pass. Well, that's the difference between you getting an interception and a PBU right there. You wanna make plays, your goal is to make plays. You wanna get better, you wanna elevate yourself to become that starter. You wanna dominate next season. So you have to be able to believe what you see. You have to be confident in yourself, trust it. You put it in the work now so you can be confident in the fall. Just put that in your mind. Whatever you do, you're working to get better. You're building confidence. You want to dominate. You want to be that guy next year. One thing I stand by all the time is to bet on yourself no matter what the situation is. I'm so confident in my ability that I am going to better myself. It's going to be in my hands. If I don't make it, it's because of me. It's not going to be because of somebody else or my coach or no. I'm putting in the work now because I know I can be great. I'm going to bet on myself. I'm going to do what it takes to put myself in a situation where I can be that guy or take that next level or go to college or go play professionally. I'm going to do what it takes so I can be in the right situation, put myself in front of the right people so I can be where I want to be. Don't ever put anything in nobody else's hands. That's one thing you want to learn from this video right here. Make sure everything you do is under your control. Don't rely on, oh, my coach is going to help me get recruited. Yes, if he does help you, he's going to do what he's, he's going to do. But also, you're going to have to put in some work too. You're going to have to hit up these schools too. You're going to have to put yourself in front of these coaches. You're going to have to go to these camps and dominate and strap these people up. And you're going to have to do that. At the end of the day, the coach can just give you, hey, this is my player. I hope you like him. Here's his film. 
that's all he could do. He can't just be like, oh yeah, he's this and that, and yeah, trust me, you do it. Like he could say all that stuff, but at the end of the day, they are still gonna have to evaluate you. They are gonna still have to see you in person and see if you're really that guy. All these coaches, you know how they are. Oh yeah, he's 6'2", 220. Meanwhile, you're 5'10", 180. You know what I'm saying? So they going that's why they want to see you in person. And that's why I say you always wanna better yourself. Always want to put yourself in a situation where you can control it. Because if you don't make it, it's nobody else's fault but you. If you make it, it's because you did it. And that's the best feeling ever. Trust me. So, you got the blueprint. You got the steps. Go and follow those steps. Go study your film. Evaluate yourself. Be 100% real with yourself. If you know you're not fast, do what you gotta do to get faster. If you know you're not strong, do what you gotta do to get stronger, All right? If you don't understand the playbook, do what you gotta do to understand the playbook. Take action. You have to understand your resources is everywhere. You have plenty of resources to go be great. You just gotta take that step to go get them. Go use those resources. Go to the field, go to the weight room, go talk to your coach, hit up the trainers, hit up Team Island. All those things, just everything's right in front of you. You have to do what you gotta do to be great. So believe in yourself, trust yourself, bet on yourself, build confidence and know your situation. Be real with your situation. If you know you don't get a lot of playing time, you have to know what you need to do to get more playing time. Go talk to your coach one-on-one. -on -one. Hey coach, what do you think I need to do to get more playing time? Respectfully, just, you know, Come up with respectfully. Don't just go in with an attitude, but be man to man. Look him in the eye and just ask him, hey, coach, you have a moment? And just ask him. Let him tell you. Let him break it down to, to you. Be humble and listen to what he's saying. Figure out a plan so you can be that guy next year. All these things, you got you to gotta do it on your own. If somebody else is helping you, that's a plus. That's what you want. You want to have pluses. Don't just expect someone to help you. Don't just rely on someone's help the whole time no do it on your own bet on yourself that's the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to follow us on ig tiktok twitter if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe i know it's been a while since i uploaded but i'm working on getting some new things so you know it's gonna be more consistent hopefully but you already know share this with our lost cousins and i'll catch you in the next one Peace. Chokey B.